Okay, in this video we'll be going through text objects in Vim and um, I'll be honest, uh, text objects, well I saw a video by Thoughtbot and it was one of their Vimcasts about the Vim language and during the, I guess, presentation the guy sort of shows why Vim is very different from all the other text editors, mainly through the use of text objects and the fact that editing becomes, you know, a lot more powerful once you start using text objects efficiently and uh, it's a really it's a cool video the guy is very um, articulate in the way he explains things so I recommend going and watching that um, so <laughs> without uh, distracting you too much uh, sorry if you're playing in the background or thunder it's just weather and stuff today okay so let me just start the video so uh, you have motions in Vim, so if I VW right, it starts visual selection and goes all the way till, um, you know, the O in the next word, okay? So that's visu visually selecting with a motion. Uh, you could also, if you remember, delete with motions, you know, change with motions. Um, but there's text objects which behave in the same way, and you can select more specific objects, if I can say that. So if I V I W that says visual oh, well, let's do a so if I V A W it says visually select a word right and uh, you can do visual selection on it or perform operations on any of the text objects so I can do something like delete a word now focus is just gone and you you note I can do it from anywhere within the word so V A word and it selects the whole word versus motions where you have to go all the way to the front of the word and then try and delete sort of tilt space or something. Uh, yeah. So those are, well, a word is the basic uh, text object. And um, so VA word includes the space at the end of the word, but um, I can just exit. VIW, V in a word, does not include the space. That's the only difference between the I and the A. That's the same for all the other text objects we'll be covering. The only difference between the I and the A is whether or not the space is included at the end. Okay? So I'm going to be doing visual selections, but you can delete or change, perform operations on these uh, selected text objects. I'm just going to do visual because this is a video and makes it easier to see. So we have a word. Okay? But what if you want to, say, focus, do it on a word that's, you know, separated by a hyphen, if I do V in a word, it doesn't really work because a word will detect the hyphen as, uh, it'll treat the hyphen as a separator between words, okay? Uh, so to select the whole thing, you have to do a big word. So V in a shift W, uppercase W, will select uh, the word as a big word. So the only thing that counts as separators are non-blank characters. So that's a, a big word. So VA big word includes the space. Uh, we also have sentences. Uh, so if I come here, uh, VAS selects a sentence, including the space afterwards. Uh, we also have VIS. It uh, selects the sentence, but without the space afterwards. We also have a paragraph, so VA paragraph. Okay, uh, It takes the, the end line at the end as well. And then we also have VIP, oh, my bad, need to be here, VIP, and then it doesn't take the, the end of line on you know, the next line as well. Uh, with uh, a paragraph specifically, you're more likely to use the, the A variant, so uh, DAP will delete the whole paragraph cleanly as a DI, sorry, um, DIP does not do it, uh, uh, what do you call it, DIP, We'll leave an end of line here, so not as cleanly. Okay, so those are the basic um, basic ones. Then we have the block characters, such as uh, brackets here. So if I VA bracket, usually selects uh, the inner brackets. If I VA bracket, now it includes the brackets uh, that are surrounding it. Note it doesn't include the space afterwards. So if all of these block characters Com compared to uh, the word, sentence, and paragraph, 
it doesn't include the, the a variant, it doesn't include the space afterwards, it just includes the actual block characters. So, uh, big, well, small difference there. So we have uh, brackets there. There's also for parentheses, um, inner parentheses, um, the a parentheses. Note, there's no difference between using the closing or the opening variants of the parentheses or the brackets. So vi opening parentheses does the same thing as uh, vi closing parentheses. So you can just choose which one you want. Um, there's also p, no, 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 uh, b, so v in a b, which is an alias for parentheses. Uh, so lowercase b, if you want to use b instead of uh, reaching all the way for parentheses. There's also braces, which um, vi uh, brace. Um, so braces for brace, obviously the a variant works the same. You can also do vi shift b, which is an alias for braces. There's no alias for square brackets as far as I know. So those are braces, brackets, and parentheses. There's also for what I call angle brackets, but these are just uh, less than and greater than signs. So vi angle brackets does that. Uh, selects the, yeah, the insides of the angle brackets. And then we also have HTML tags. So vi t for tag. Well, HTML and XML tags. So vit selects inner, the inner contents of the tag. And then there's vat which selects the tags as well. Uh, note if you uh, say delete in a tag, yeah? And then there's only the tags left to five VIT, it will select the actual tags as well. Uh, so those are HTML tags. We also have uh, quotations, yeah? So if I delete in a quotations, uh, it does what you expect. Um, VI in a back ticks, what you expect. And then obviously, um, Double quotes, uh, VI double quotes, does what you expect. VA double quotes, does what you expect. And yeah, so for all of these um, objects, the block ones in particular can take account. So if I do something like parentheses, some text, parentheses, right? If I V two in a parentheses, well, if I do, I think it's easier, V to a parentheses that selects the two levels of the parentheses. If I, uh, yeah, it does not work with any of the quotes, backticks, or single quotes. So if I do something like uh, this, it just won't. So V2 in a, sorry, A is easier to visualize. So V2 A double quotes, it doesn't really work properly. Uh, it's just a, a thing with the quotes and the back ticks. Okay, so those can take counts. Um, words can't really, so V to inner words doesn't really, you know, it doesn't. It's just with the surrounding characters, the, the block characters. And I'm going to have to end the video there. My battery is <laughs> lower than expected. But I will see you guys in the next video. Um, that should actually, yeah, that should do it for all the, the text characters, well, oh, sorry, text objects. And yeah, that should be it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.